And now, Acme This Week brings you the Acme News with your news anchor, Chris McKenzie. Good evening, I'm Chris McKenzie, and you're welcome. <laughs> Our top story tonight, President Barack Obama has had no fewer than six appointees withdraw their cabinet nominations. This prompted the president to change his official slogan from yes we can to screw you guys, I'm gonna do it alone. <laughs> I'm okay with that. He even spells cool. <laughs> Disgraced Olympic hero Michael Phelps continues to lose endorsements, <laughs> parting ways this week with Kellogg's. When reached for comment, Phelps said, Dude, my skin is like paper. Did my brain just say that out loud? Scene. In science news, a US satellite violently collided with, a, with space junk this week creating a massive debris field. In a related story, Disney Pixar announced there will be no sequel to Wally. <laughs> He'll be missed. All right, now we are going to move on. We're actually gonna go back. We are gonna go to our own Jody Miller, who has secured an interview with the mother of those now famous octuplets. Ju uh, Jody, are you there? I can hear you perfectly well. I'm here with the octuplets. Fantastic. It's really exciting. <laughs> okay. If, uh, if, the octuplets are, it's, I, they're. What, what everyone wants to know, Jody. Okay. It, I'm here with the octuplets. <laughs> okay, will you shut those babies up? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just, babies are really grating when they cry. And this place smells like shit. <laughs> Jody Miller, everybody. <laughs> She's going to make a fantastic mother. A sharp spike in Australian shark attacks has been linked to the dramatic improvement in water quality down under, leading scientists to declare that Venice Beach is the safest place in the world to swim. <laughs> a religious sect in India will start marketing a beverage made from cow urine. Yeah, no. The uh, beverage is yet to be named in India, but in the U.S. it will continue to be sold under its current name, Coors Light. <laughs> this week, Joaquin Phoenix made every Amish man wish he were allowed to shave. Seriously, brother, that hobo is not one of us. Now, we're gonna move on to uh, fans of the show of Lost, we have a special treat for you. Lost is back and it's weirder than ever. So to give you a sneak peek, please welcome from the set of Lost, Jorge Garcia. Jorge, are you there? there you are, Jorge. Hey, hello there, Jorge. It's going well. Uh, Jorge, Sci-fi fans are really excited about this season of Lost. Uh, the show's creators say they are going to answer some questions this season. Yeah, dude, the season is insane. Uh, there's a lot going on, man. <laughs> can you tell us any secrets? Sure, dude. Really? Yeah, I can tell you what I know so far, dude. Wow, an Acme exclusive. Give us some spoilers. Well, uh, the island itself is really just a version of 18th century philosopher Jeremy Bentham's Panopticon, only that they expanded the scope by using a fringe science called remote viewing. This is where Jacob comes in. Dude, Jacob is really... God! Oh, God! I said too much! <laughs> It was revealed this week that slugger Alex Rodriguez tested positive for banned substances in 2003, proving once and for all that steroids really do damage your vision. Oh. Personal friend, I understand. 
Microsoft announced this week it plans to open retail shops to compete with the ultra popular Apple stores. Executives said, quote, we have great products. All we need now are a bunch of smug assholes wearing the same t-shirt. <laughs> And finally tonight, in an unlikely pairing, an elephant and a dog have become best friends. In a related headline from the future, an elephant has crushed a dog. <laughs> the tearful owner said through his tears, I shouldn't have named him Peanut. <laughs> That's the news, ladies and gentlemen. Now go out and make some news of your own. Good night and thank you.